Hi there guys, Mobro here. I just wanted to create a little video just to let you know what I've been up to. Um, if you've been following my videos, uh, the first video I created uh, was actually uh, I, I generated the, the map of the earth um, and this is actually one of those maps this is the rectangular version of the map I generated uh, so I created a computer program that would read in an input file of millions of records uh, and the records contained latitude and longitudes of various locations on earth and then I plotted those uh, latitude and longitudes to the screen and then I, I showed you uh, right in front of your eyes this map being generated one country at a time um, and then uh, after I, I verified um, that I was mapping things correctly and the data was correct I went ahead and changed the scale uh, and I changed the scale to be the rounded map uh, where the North Pole is in the middle and I ran the exact same data to see how it would appear on this different scale and I was quite amazed I had no idea actually how this was going to appear but I was quite amazed that it resembled exactly the map of 1892 that's on the web sometimes called, called a flat earth map uh, and then I did a follow up video uh, just to show you the similarities between the maps and how one map actually becomes the other map and I showed you an animation of how uh, this uh, transformation actually happens. You saw the countries changing shapes and positions and moving to different quadrants and becoming uh, the rounded version of the map. Okay, so now in this program, uh, I'm using uh, that same rectangular version and the rounded version. I'm using it as a background. Uh, there is actually no input going into this program, uh, but what it's showing is the sunrise and sunsets. Uh, over the earth at any given moment in time. Okay, so right now you're seeing uh, January 24, 2016 at 11, um, at, uh, that's actually now January 25th, 2016 at 12 a.m. Uh, Greenwich Mean Time and this is how the sun is distributed over the earth. Okay, uh, so just to give an example, the sun is overhead in areas of Australia Okay, this red dot represents the sun. Um, just to let you know, it is not to scale. Um, the, I'm not assuming the size of the sun or um, or the the distance to the sun. I'm just showing it as a small dot, which is not to scale. Okay, so the sun is on top of Australia at the moment, and it's rising in areas of Africa. Okay, um, and so uh, you see the range. Um, so right now, it's still uh, in areas of Africa. Um, so on, on this side the sun is rising and on this side the sun would be setting. Okay, uh, So for example in areas of China right now the sun will be setting and it will be setting at this angle. Uh, and in areas of South America the sun will be rising and it will be rising at this angle. So you'll see that many countries like including Australia and areas of Russia are seeing the sun setting at the same time uh, within minutes of each other but of course uh, the angle um, would be different in the sky. Okay, and They would both see it at the horizon uh, but the angle would be different. Okay, so that gives you an idea of the range of the sun and all the areas that are illuminated. Okay, so this illumination is based on uh, formulas. So I'm using latitudes and longitudes uh, and to convert that into uh, sunrise and sunset times uh, using existing known formulas. Um, and that's what gives, uh, assures me the accuracy that I'm getting. Okay, um, and if I showed you the same thing on the rounded version, uh, that gives you an idea of how it looks on this scale. Okay, uh, so that's how uh, the, the the these portions are in uh, shade, and this is where the sun is. Um, and okay, so you you'll notice the sun is uh, close to the Tropic of uh, Capricorn and you see it the same here you see the rectangular version simultaneously just so you can compare this map is actually identical to this uh, all these yellow areas if it's wrapped around it becomes exactly like this um, you, like for example you see the pointy parts here and that's the pointy parts here and it, they'll join together and become this map okay uh, so all these areas on this side uh, all these countries are seeing sun rising and all of these areas uh, 
uh, towards this side, uh, we'll see the sun uh, setting yeah, at these various angles. Okay, uh, and the sun actually moves across uh, towards the equator in March, and it actually does go to um, the Tropic of Cancer in June. I've noticed that. I had no input in that. I'm not biased towards that. It's just what I'm noticing. Okay, and my goal here is to show you an unbiased um, uh, display. I'm not trying to manipulate anything. I'm not trying to promote any particular viewpoint. Okay, and I'm just going to show you how it looks in the different months. So I'll just quickly uh, switch over to March. Okay, so in in the March months, the the sun moves. Uh, you can see it moves closer to the equator, and that gives you a different look uh, as far as illumination. But again, on the left side, will be the sun will be rising at this angle, and on this side, the sun will be setting at this angle. All of these countries, the sun will be setting simultaneously almost at this angle. Okay, at all all countries would have it at a different angle, and these countries would be in complete darkness. But right at this moment, when the sun appears there that's when they will be able to see the sun at the horizon okay and I'll just show you the same uh, March version on the rounded map okay and that's how it is it shows up uh, straight uh, straight across like this and you're also seeing straight lines here and that's just exactly the same way uh, and again the uh, the sun is on top of the equator okay so I just wanted to now show you June just to give you uh, a good comparison okay I could have run this for the entire year but obviously that would have taken way too long I have done the calculation it would take actually 12 hours, 12 hours to run um, but just to give you an idea of how I'm doing this all of these uh, coordinates 64,800 coordinates uh, if you divide 300 uh, multiply 360 by 180 you get 64,800 and that's how many uh, that that should cover the entire earth uh, within one degree and I'm feeding those into for, into known formulas okay um, and the formulas actually fail in certain positions that's why you're seeing a uh, different shade okay um, every time the, the my formula fails I, I show it as a different shade and I've notice it consistently fails at latitudes above 67 degrees and latitudes below 67 minus 67 uh, and so rather than assuming that there is sun there or not I just left it as a different shade uh, even though I know for a fact that these areas above in June uh, would see the sun uh, but again I didn't want to make any assumptions here okay uh, so again on this side the sun is uh, setting uh, and uh, right now in areas of Russia and China the Sun will be rising okay at the various angles and I'll just show you the rounded version okay so you're gonna see um, the rounded version show up uh, I'm Okay, so there it is. It looks uh, more like a, a spotlight, uh, and, and all, that all has to do with the location of the sun. Um, and right now, it's at the Tropic of Cancer, uh, and you see more of a spotlight appearance. Uh, the middle is um, is is in blue still or in turquoise uh, because I didn't want to make an assumption. The the formulas continue to fail in these areas. So I just left it like that, even though you, you can tell that this all should be in yellow. Okay, uh, so there you get a good comparison of all the different months um, and how the illumination changes uh, over the earth. Um, and I think uh, I really enjoyed seeing this. It's, it's nice to be able to do this from the comfort of your home. Without actually leaving your home, you can see the world and how it is uh, illuminating the earth and I think it is very interesting I hope you too find it interesting um, if there's something you'd like to comment about please let me know otherwise please like and subscribe and I'll continue sharing okay until next time take care goodbye